What is going on? Welcome back to Fish on Luke and today we are in the kitchen. We're doing something I've never done before which is cooking paddlefish. I've never eaten it, never cooked it, so this is going to be an adventure for all of us if you've never done any of that. Um, we're going to do a wet brine, smoke, we're going to do a dry brine and smoke it, we're going to do a dry brine and grill it, we're going to do a a marinade in Italian dressing and then grill it. And then we're gonna do a Minnesota style, I would say, um, chunked up with shore lunch and we're gonna deep fry some uh, paddlefish. So, this is gonna be a learning process for all of us, but uh, at the end, we're gonna try them all and we're gonna see which one we like the best. So stay tuned and we will see you in the kitchen. So before we get into doing all this fancy stuff with this fish, um, let's, let's take a look at what this fish actually looks like. It is super marbled looking fish. Very clean looking. Um, it's, it's a lot more white than I would have expected before it came out of the package. But it's a super cool looking filet. Never seen anything really like it. Um, I guess it kind of reminds me of halibut in terms of like texture and seeing it cooked in other videos, definitely it's super dense. So we're gonna get this fish um, marinade made for the brine, for the wet brine, and then we're gonna continue on um, with all the rest here. All right, first things first, we're gonna do the wet brine um, to smoke it. So, with the wet brine, um, I'm gonna leave the brine recipe in the description below, but I can tell you right here, it is one and a third cup of salt, um, two third cup of brown sugar and one gallon of water. We're gonna cut that in half, so we're gonna do just over a half a cup of salt, um, about a third a cup of brown sugar, and then a half gallon of water. Since we only have two little flays, I think we're gonna do the wet brine in. So, we add, um, you can do this on the stove, but I'm gonna add the salt into the water, then I'm gonna add the brown sugar, and um, you can do it just like that, but what I'm gonna do is I have the Chef Paul's Magic Redfish Seasoning. I'm actually just gonna add some of this to my wet brine. This is an amazing, amazing seasoning for fish. If you've never had it, mix it in with your uh, shore lunch or whatever you use to uh, bread your fish before you fry it. This stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this into the, uh, into the brine. And then I'm gonna leave it just like that. Not too much, but a little bit. And then we're gonna get this mixed we're gonna get everything together. You can do this on the stove to heat it up to get all the uh, sugar and salt dissolved, but it shouldn't take too long. The water's mediocrely warm. I didn't wanna cook the fish in the brine, so once this gets incorporated, we're gonna put the flays in here, and we're gonna put it in the fridge overnight, and we're gonna get started on the next recipe. I should also add, you wanna marinate this in the wet brine before you smoke it for 24 to 48 hours. So I'm gonna do probably a 24 hour brine, but you can go up to a 48 hour brine if you so want to, um, but it's really up to you how long you wanna wait and how much you wanna brine it. You could even try both of them and see which one you like better, but at least 24 hours I would recommend on a wet brine before you smoke it, so. All right, so now that we have the marinade done, we are gonna take one of the fillets, actually we're gonna do two. We're gonna do two in the wet brine that we're gonna smoke, um, I have a lot of faith in the wet brine method for smoking. So we are gonna put these two in the wet brine until tomorrow night before we smoke them. We might even do the final cooking um, the next night, I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna do them all at once so we can get a equal and fair taste test between all of them. So we got this brine done and now let's get on with the dry brine for the smoker. For the first dry brine, we're gonna do the dry brine for the smoker and with that, I did a, a fourth cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add equal parts salt. We're gonna mix that up. And we're actually gonna uh, incorporate this on top of the fish. I think we're just gonna cover the fish for this dry brine, make a coating on the top of it. And we're gonna put it on the plate next to our other dry brine. But I just incorporated brown sugar, salt, and this will be the dry brine for the fish. And before we smoke this one, we're gonna wash it off actually. So we are gonna actually pat dry. We're gonna grab this filet, we're gonna pat dry it. And uh, don't want it soaking wet when we dry brine it. So what I think I'm gonna do for this dry brine, I'm actually gonna just put it right in there like that. I might do the whole fish, I don't know, let's try it. Let's just dry brine the whole fish just like this. 
I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do, but I'm going to do that. So this is what I'm doing. So that dry brine, that dry brine is going to sit just like that overnight. I can put a little more on there. And then the other brine, we're all right. And for the second dry brine that we're going to grill, we're going to do something a little bit different. I got a fourth cup of brown sugar, whatever amount. And then instead of smoked paprika, which I was told to do, I have smoked chipotle uh, pepper powder here. Chipotle pepper powder, um, super tasty stuff. So we're going to put that in with the brown sugar. And then we're going to cover the top of the fish with this. We're not going to well, we can do the whole thing in this one too. Well, no, we're just going to do the top on this one. So I got the chipotle powder, pepper. We're going to mix this up with the brown sugar. And I think we're going to just sprinkle this one on top because this is for the grill. So this is a little bit different. So we're going to take another filet right here. I'm actually going to pat this one dry as well. And we're going to lay this one next to our other dry brine. And we're actually going to just drizzle. I, wanna, I don't want to get this on the other one. So we're going to drizzle this over the top of that one. No salt in this one. So this will be very interesting. And I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do here, but we're going to send it. So this is, this is the last dry brine we're going to do. Um, and then the next one is going to be, so these are going to, by the way, these are going to sit in the fridge overnight. So these are going to stay just like that. And then tomorrow, um, we will, uh, put them on the, uh, this, the one on the right is going to go on the smoker and the one on the left is going to go on the grill. But right now we're going to get the other brine ready. So, uh, stick around. All right, for the last marinade brine we're gonna do, Italian dressing, good old Italian dressing. If you've never used Italian dressing in cooking, you're missing out. You can marinate chicken in it and grill it. It's incredible. Um, you can marinate, uh, if you've never done duck breast and Italian dressing, do five days um, duck breast marinade and Italian dressing. It's game changer if you're into eating waterfall. But the last one's gonna be Italian dressing. And we're gonna grab another filet here we're going to put it in the bag and we're going to put enough in here to cover this filet. We're just going to load it up, put a bunch in there. That's half a bottle is probably plenty for one small filet. So what we're going to do is put this in here and this is going to marinate overnight as well. Get the, that down and this filet will sit in here overnight. So, this marinade is done. That's all this one is. And for the next part of the video, we are going to be cooking all of these, smoking and cooking. So um, I'm not doing anything with this last filet over here off camera. Um, this is going to be cubed and uh, fried when we do all the cooking. So we're going to keep this um, plain until tomorrow night. And we're going to do that one. But um, the last part of the video, you guys stick around for it. We're going to be eating and testing all of these fish. So stick around.
All right, so the grill is warming up. We obviously have the dry brine for the grill here. We also have the uh, Italian dressing marinade for the grill. But right now, right here, shore lunch. We did half Cajun, half original for this, and that is in the baggie. What I'm gonna do is I've been soaking this fish here in buttermilk for the last two hours. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna pat this dry, get rid of the buttermilk. I don't wanna, I don't wanna really have the buttermilk in there. It was more of a marinade to get the, the fishiness out. So we got most of the buttermilk off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cube this fish up into little chunks. Cause right now it's a big chongus and I don't want that. So we're gonna cube this up into smaller pieces here. The texture's rather strange, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm just gonna have these here, little nuggets right there. And then what we're gonna do is put them in, I have a just like a quarter cup of milk and um, one egg. Typically I would do them dry and I would put them into the batter then back into the egg for a double batter, but I'm just gonna keep it simple right now. So what we're doing is we got the mixed batter of the regular shore lunch and the Cajun. And we're gonna drop these in. And I'm gonna shake this up. That is the benefit of using a baggie when you're actually doing fish batter. Um, you can just close the baggie and send it. So the oil is warming up, grill's warming up. It's gonna be quite the feast. I don't know if it'll be a good feast, but it will be a feast. Nonetheless, thankfully we had a little Casey's pizza before this event, so. Our tummies are nice and full from pizza if this doesn't go over well. That's all you do, close the bag and give them a little coating. So these are ready to go on the oil on the stove over here. And uh, I'm actually gonna get this fish on the grill. So uh, we'll see you at the right, grill. Next is we're putting this fish on my dirty Weber Q. Don't mind how dirty it is, It's don't judge me. Oh, she's sizzling, which is exactly what you want. I'd have her get closer with the camera, but I don't want you guys to see really how dirty this grill is, so. So these are both on. Um, we're gonna go start frying the fish while this is grilling. We're gonna flip these a couple times so they get to temp, and then uh, we're gonna be feasting out. The uh, oil is up to temp, 350 degrees. And we're gonna grab this fish here. And we're gonna put in these pieces of Good old paddlefish, they look pretty good actually. I'm gonna have to flip them in here because they are a little thick and the oil's not quite thick enough, deep enough. But this is gonna be just some great stuff here. And I'm being completely sarcastic. I don't have a lot of faith. Some people say this is great, but honestly, if this doesn't work out and I don't like any of them, I'm, I, I should not have to work this hard to make fish taste good. If that makes sense, would you think, Sarah? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but if fish doesn't taste good with shore lunch, with a batter, I don't know what's gonna happen. But we're gonna go out back in the garage and we're gonna flip this other fish till it's done and then we're gonna finish this and we're gonna eat. Stick around. All right, let's give these a flip. That actually looks amazing. I'm gonna change positions here. That looks great. Just a little bit more. The fish inside is almost done. This fish is almost done. We're eating in just a second. So, as you can see right here, pan down to these beauties. This is all the food finished. We got the Italian grilled, the brown sugar chipotle grilled. We got the nuggets, the nug nugs. And we got the smoked fish, one wet, two wet brine and one dry brine. So, first things first, I'm gonna try this. I'm not looking forward to this, I'm gonna be honest. Oh God, that's so, that's like pork or chicken. Look at that. So strange. I knew what it was gonna be like, but I'm still not prepared. It smells, so raw, I didn't tell you guys, but before it was cooked, it smelled pretty fishy. This doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna try it, and then Tara's gonna try a piece. It's not bad. 
That's not as fishy as I expected. And now it's Tara's turn to try it. <laughs> yep. Any piece you want. Yep. The whole thing? You can try whatever however much you want. It's not bad, but it's it's like pork. It's weird. Very dense. Extremely dense. What do you think? It's not that bad. No, that's not bad. Would I eat it over like a walleye or something? Probably not. No. Um, hmm. Not bad. Chunks are not bad. I'd give those a um, six, six out of five. ten. Six out of ten for okay. me. Six out of ten. Six, six out of ten for that. Next one we're gonna try is the dry brine grilled. This had brown sugar and uh, chipotle pepper powder. I'm just gonna. Mm. I'm gonna get a little bigger chunk. I mean, I probably we'll give it a shot here. Nice and hot, smoking. Looks good. It's got a caramelization from that brown sugar. Okay, that's better than this. That's better than the fried nuggets. And it's not even, it wasn't salted or anything. Tara's turn to try it. All right, All Tara right. got a piece of the brown sugar chipotle marinated. It's pretty good, actually. That's not bad at all. That's just a dry brine. No salt on that brine. Okay. Not bad, seven. huh? Give it a seven. That's the, like a seven for me as well. That's actually pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Not bad. On to the next one. Next up on the board is the Italian dressing marinated paddlefish hmm, it's not it's not tender by any means temp temp is good we're gonna give it I've marinated chicken with this Italian dressing and grilled it it's amazing hmm. I'll let her try it <laughs> <laughs> Tara's gonna try the Italian dressing paddlefish. It's different. It's not bad. Actually, it's a good aftertaste. What do you think of that? <laughs> it's not terrible. I give that like a five and a half out of ten. I'm going six. Six? Six, yeah. Gosh, she's liking this paddlefish <laughs> stuff. Last but not least, oh. the smoked paddlefish we got the 24-hour brine and then the dry brine i forgot to rinse off the dry brine so that's going to be really salty but on to that all right the last two we're going to try both at the same time and then i'm going to let tara try them behind the camera this is just the 24-hour brined smoked paddlefish i'm actually not going to use my fork because it has italian dressing all over it i'm just going to rip off a chunk here looks good That is by far the best out of all of them. You're kidding. That's super good. It's a little bit salty. I probably could have rinsed it a little better, but that's tasty. So I'm gonna let Tara try this one first before we try the release. Oh, no, I'm gonna try the, the other dry brine first here. This one I did not rinse off. So, um, mm. Mm. This is actually okay, but I do like the wet the wet brine for the smoke. It's pretty solid. I'm gonna let Tara try it and see what she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tara is up. You just pull a chunk off. We don't have to worry about the, it's just us eating it. You'll like it. Do you like smoked fish? Like uh, smoked salmon? Uh, yeah. All right, I think you'll like it. It's, it's not nearly as fishy as you think it's gonna be after smelling it. It's a little salty. It is salty, but flavor's there. It's pretty good. If it wasn't as salty. Yeah, it's too salty. I could see it. Yeah. All right, all right. Try the dry brine now and tell me what you think the difference is. So that's salt and brown sugar. So it has a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a sweet hint to it. This is the dry brine smoke. 
it's different. It's a different, but that sugar kind of stops it from being too salty. I like that one better than the first one. Yeah, I like, I, I think they're both fine. Yeah. I think I give, my rating is the wet brine. I give that like a, almost an eight, probably a seven and a half. And I give the dry brine probably right around a seven. What I'm, do you think? I'm going six on the wet, seven on the dry. Seven on the dry. So that is, um, that is the, uh, how does the camera look? Fantastic. Right here? Yeah. That is the conclusion of this. I feel the best one was the 24 hour wet brine. Um, I don't know if, if I did a longer brine, if it would get more salty, I think it would. I would be curious to do a longer brine if it wasn't as salty. Um, I feel like the flavor might be there a little more, but it honestly wasn't bad. The worst one was deep fried. Wouldn't you agree? Or did you like the deep fried? I liked the deep fried. I didn't like it. I, I didn't think it was bad, but we're gonna end this. And then my roommate, I might even leave a little bonus at the end because my roommate's gonna try it and maybe he'll give you an idea if he likes it. Have you ever had paddlefish? I've never had paddlefish. He's never had paddlefish. It's like eating pork or chicken. It's very strange. But uh, we're going to end it with him trying one of these pieces and see if he likes it. But uh, yeah, we're going to do that right now. I don't know what it means. Some of you know my roommate, Jeff, here. He's going to... So you're going to bite it and it's like pork. I don't like the fried one. What do you think? Yeah, it's like biting into pork. <laughs> it's but weird, isn't it? It needs to be good with an aioli sauce, like a Southwest aioli sauce. Do you think sauce. the fish itself tastes good? Tastes okay. It needs something. Try some of the smoked yeah, stuff. It needs, it needs the aioli sauce. Aioli sauce is his rating on that. What do you rate it out of 10? Pretending just on flavor, not needing sauce. That's a six. That's what I gave it, I think, yeah, too. So. I, I wouldn't... I'd eat one or two more, but I wouldn't like order a basket of eight. I thought this this brown sugar one was the best. I think. I think so too. One I want to try your brine. I'm try it. Try um. That's a wet, dry brine. That's dry brine. That's the dry brine one. That had brown sugar and salt, no fluid brine at all. That's actually not bad. No, but it's reminds me of smoked carp. A little bit. It's more like smoked carp than smoked salmon. Yeah, you're right. Without the bones. Yeah, without bones. Every time I've had smoked carp, you gotta pull bones out. So it's like smoked carp. I actually didn't mind it. Which one's the wet? These two are wet, Brian. That one's salty. I think that is a cleaner flavor. Mm -hmm. That was definitely not as fishy. Yes. So I wouldn't say that tastes like carp. That tastes like... I don't know. That's got, that's got its own taste. Try a piece, a little piece of this caramelized brown sugar, and that's chipotle powder and brown sugar. I think you'll like that yeah. the best. That's my favorite. Same. That needs to be on a poor boy. <laughs> It'd be good, right? <laughs> that's a perfect on a poor boy. Pretty tasty, awesome. is it not? Perfect on a poor boy. That, that's, that's a good piece of meat, you guys. That brown sugar. Someone said brown sugar paprika with dill. I just like that chipotle powder. I made up my own one. I did chipotle powder with brown sugar and I just let it sit for a day and grilled it and it caramelized. If I did it again, I would do both sides in it and caramelize both sides. It'd be like a candied mm. paddlefish. Yep. yep. So that's gonna be the conclusion to this paddlefish video. I've never done a cooking video on this channel. I used to do different cooking videos when I had a different channel, but I think that was fun. Uh, Tara got to try some new fish. My roommate got to try some new fish. Probably going to bring some of this to work tomorrow and let the guys at work try it too. So would I eat it again? Will I take it again? I probably will not. It wasn't amazing. I can catch walleyes or, you know, crappies or something that's probably a little cleaner tasting, a little better. But overall, not horrible. And Tara, what would you say? Not horrible? Not horrible. Not horrible. <laughs> not great. And uh, But thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when I upload my latest videos. Um, Wisconsin's next, actually not Wisconsin. I'm going to Idaho for white sturgeon in a couple weeks and then Wisconsin for channel cats. It's going to be an action packed spring here into summer. So thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you later. Fish on.